Welcome to Midtown. My name's Will. And I'm Ket. And today we're going to do another brew review. Uh, to that end, we've been asked a lot about non-alcoholic beers, and because we are a craft beer venue, we wanted to get some non-alcoholic craft beer, and uh, we've selected Athletic Brewing here. Um, you said they're uh, Connecticut? They're out of Connecticut and uh, San Diego, California, I believe. Right. Yeah. And they have been focusing on doing craft beer uh, with uh, what they call near beer or less than 0.05, or sorry, less than 0.5% alcohol. Um, so to that end, sometimes the, 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 the variety's names themselves won't like say that they're a porter or a stout because the grain bills don't really support that. So to that end, on this one over here, it's just called an extra dark. Um, so it should be in the coffee porter range, is brewed with coffee. Here in the middle, we've got a golden, but again, it's not being called a golden ale, but it's gonna be invoking a lot of those same flavors. And on the far left, we've even got an IPA. An IPA, and that's one we've... We have tried that have one. we tried that one, yeah. Yes, yes, so we've, we've uh, had a sample of the IPA. We're gonna go over it again for you guys, um, and we're gonna give these other varieties a sample, and uh, that way you have an idea of what they're gonna be like. And if you're the sort of person who wants to cut down on your calories, these are also low calorie options. If you're someone who is looking for uh, something without gluten, these are uh, low gluten. They were brewed with uh, wheat or other grains that contain gluten, but then it has been removed in the brewing process. So if you're dietarily avoiding gluten, these should be safe. If you're celiacs, maybe not. Yeah, they say it, it, it's, they brew it to remove the gluten, but it's not 100% guaranteed gluten free. Absolutely. Um, that being said, it what, is... What did you say? It was a gluten light. Gluten light. Like gluten yes, light. Yes. Right. So like I said, if dietary avoidance of gluten, these should still be safe. If you have a severe reaction to gluten, then, then definitely probably still clear, stay clear of them and look for other uh, gluten-free beer options like uh, ghost fish, which does sorghum, mm -hmm. and there's no gluten source at all. Yeah, and, and at that note, the, uh, the IPA runs in at 70 calories, and I, and I think, I mean, that's, that's, that's probably a third to a quarter yeah. of a lot of... The gold in here is only 45. And the, the big hitter uh, in the dark is 105. So, I mean, even, even the highest calorie option here is going to be about half of what you would expect from a full alcoholic brew. Yeah, and we got to watch our figures. So, you know. <laughs> got to stay fitting into these uh, All right. svelte. Let's uh, get to trying them. No? Yeah. Where do you want to start? I think we should start with the golden. Yeah? Yep. All right. Nice golden pour. Little, yeah, you can see good carbonation coming up there. Head, yeah. Smells like beer, which is a good sign. That's pretty pleasant. It's not bad. It's very dry. I mean, you, you can definitely, uh, you know, the, that's an NA beer. It, it's right. I mean, you're missing the, the little bit of bite that even a small, like even a 5% alcohol content will kind of give. But um, you've got the papery flavors that you would expect out of a lager style. Just a you've little got... bit of bitterness at the end I'm yep. getting. Yeah. No, this is very drinkable. Um, yeah. I mean, not sweet like a golden. Like I said, given the name golden, you might expect a little bit of a sweeter taste. But no, this is actually very dry. I would say that it drinks a lot closer to a Pilsner or a lager. Yeah, like a Pilsner. Yeah. Pilsner. Sure. Yeah, I would have no rec no trouble recommending this to somebody who was asking for an NA, uh, you know, beer of just a generic beer. This golden is going to fit that bill, for sure. Yeah, tasty. All right, let's go to the IPA. Save the dark one for last. I so. like that plan. Okay. Little bit darker than the golden. Less nose, which is surprising. I mean, I am getting a little hops, I think. Yeah, but I think the golden still has more beer smell, more nose. Kind of grassy on the grassy green hops. You know, it tastes like a light IPA, but they're able mm -hmm. to get, you know, the hops flavor. Yeah, I think the, the back of the tongue, it's not super, super bitter, but it's got just that little bit of hoppiness that's playing right in the middle middle back of the tongue that uh, that says, hey, you're drinking beer. And Yeah, no, that, yeah. I, I, I feel like that's a game changer. I, right I feel I, like 
I feel like I'm enjoying this more now than the last time I had it. Well, we were kind of mixing it. That's mixing true. It. I think that, and I think that's the other thing is that if you're having an alcoholic beer and then you try one of these, it's right. not gonna have a lot of body. But if you're coming straight to this, um, it's gonna be a lot closer. No, it's very good. Wow, yeah, it's great. And 70 calories. That's very drinkable. Keenest season's coming up. Well, and that's one of the things that uh, Athletic kind of, uh, what, what started this journey towards brewing NA beers was the idea that like someone who doesn't drink for whatever reason, be it medical, personal, um, you know, that, that when they go out, they wanna have something with everybody else. And if this is what you're holding in your hand, no one's gonna think twice. Um, you know, and well, you're gonna, yeah, you're, even you're not going to you, right. Twice, you're not right, going to think twice right. because you also have, have have this beverage in your hand. And I mean, it drinks a lot like a like a session, like a good session yes. IPA. You know, just absolutely, yeah, not bad. Passing grade, not bad. Not I have around. to say, I'm most excited for the uh, the last one up here um, because I think those are you know beer like. All right. Oh, and I'm, have, have you ever seen a uh, NA dark beer? No, not, not of any sort. No. I mean, like I said, this is kind of a new thing. I'm really glad people are doing it. Uh, we've tried other things. Like I said, we've, we've gotten into gluten-free before uh, when people requested it and had a lot of success. So I'm really excited to uh, to be able to do the same thing here for NA options. I mean, it That's, pours like that. That looks great. Yeah, I think that constantly you're expecting it to be just a little different or a little less, and it's just not. I mean, consistently over and over again, it, it looks what it's supposed to look like, it smells like what it's supposed to smell like, and it tastes like what it's supposed to taste like. I mean, I got to say it's a little less flavor. Yes, like, across the board. I, I, absolutely, a little less Concessions, flavor. But it, yeah. it also makes it more drinkable. It's, it's very drinkable so far. All right, well, let's give this one a shot. Oh, yeah. Lots of coffee. Chocolatey. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yummy. Like, a little coffee stout, maybe a little porter-ish, but I think closer to stout would be my little smoke. There's a little smoke flavor in there. I mean, it, it feels like drinking a cold brew. Ah, there you go. Like, I mean, it, right, it's... right, right. With the with carbonation, actually, Car cold brew with carbonation. Mm -hmm. Tastes good though. It does. Um, kind of like Guinness. Not gonna yeah. lie. Yeah. A L little more on the the coffee chocolatey I, notes. Yeah, I but I I was expecting more coffee, and what I'm getting is a little closer to Guinness. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. Again, if you're trying to make a non-alcoholic dark beer, and the worst criticism is it tastes kind of like Guinness, you've done something right. Right. <laughs> Oh, you imagine that on nitro. Ooh, that'd be smooth. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've reached the last sample and we're not already buzzed up. I mean, I, I, feel, I feel like, like I should be. I feel like it. Do you feel that? <laughs> I, yeah, I feel like I should it. be. Uh, yeah. That's probably entirely psychosomatic, but uh, yeah, it does feel like we're sitting here putting some beers down. So I'd say that's a victory. Again, that's the that's what you want. Um, in, a, in an alt beer, or you know, an alt beer, but an alternate uh, type of beer like this. So, I'd yeah, say any drinks. beer with, with flavor and, and I mean, true to the style, flavor and texture. I mean, mouthfeel, the whole the whole boot. I mean, even the even the branding's on point. I, yeah, I, I, I like the pictures on the yep on the cans and everything. So, and to that end, you guys see these cans here in front of us in cases. We will be selling these by the single for uh, dine in. Uh, you can do a single takeout, and you can also do these six packs takeout. They're priced at fourteen dollars, which makes this really affordable for a non-alcoholic craft six pack. Um, you can pick them up right here, take them home. If you find a style you like, it's an excellent way to uh, have one around the house and support us while you're doing it. Yep. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to give us a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. I know we're not trying to reach a big, wide YouTube audience, but it will help us get this content in front of our local fans. We really appreciate it. We couldn't do it without you. Cheers. Cheers.